So if you're experiencing a bit of wrist pain in your yoga practice, don't worry, that's pretty common. Now the reason for it is because our wrists in the yoga practice are always in wrist extension. And on top of that, we're bearing weight. There's not a lot of poses or postures throughout the 60 minute class, 90 minute class, uh, where your wrists are in wrist flexion. Now with that said, what can you do that's gonna help out your wrist pain? I'm gonna tell you right now, the most effective thing that you could do to combat your wrist pain from the yoga practice is doing hangs. Hanging on a bar, monkey bars, pull up bars, using resistance bands, or using weights coming into this flexion action. Now, in my experience as a teacher over the years, a lot of yogis don't want a whole separate practice to add on top of their practice. So if I could give them something that is a warm up or a cool down or integrated into their yoga flow, they're gonna be much more likely to do those exercises than saying, hey, go pick up a dumbbell and start doing wrist curls, forearm curls, go hang on a bar and start coming into a false grip or doing pull-ups, right? So that's what I'm gonna give you today. In this first exercise, we're just gonna warm up the wrists a little bit. So you can place your hands flat down onto the ground and just rock the weight forward and back. And notice that I'm taking my shoulders over my wrists and then behind my wrists. And here what I'm looking for is if I'm experiencing any kind of pain and at which degree. So if you have pretty tight wrists, then maybe you only take it here, right? If you have a bit more open wrists, then maybe you take it here. Now, one key thing as you're doing this is you really wanna press down through the fingertips, the finger pads, as well as the knuckles, okay? you almost wanna feel like there's a slight lift in the heels of the palms. And here I'm gonna do this about 10 times. I'm really not keeping count though. Okay, that's, that's about 10. Okay, in this next exercise, we're going to work on building a little bit of strength into the flexor portion of the forearm. So shoulders over the wrist, and then from here, lifting up onto the knuckles, and then onto the fingertips, back down onto the knuckles, and back down onto the heels of the palms. And you wanna do this about 10 times. Okay, now as you're doing this, this is also gonna help you open up the muscles in your hands and build up the muscles in your hands, especially for that pushing down action. So every time you do a chaturanga or even like a down dog, but definitely arm balances and handstands, you have a slight lift in the heel of the palm, which is gonna turn this into something that's uh, a bit healthier as far as engagement in the forearm and not just dumping into your wrist. Okay, I gotta be honest, I totally lost count, but we're gonna do three more, okay? One, two, and three. Okay, you can shake that out. Then next up, we're gonna go and flip our hands over, just like this. And here, I'm, I'm finding a bit of external rotation in the arm, so if you find your shoulders creeping up to your ears or your elbows flaring out like this, um, try to turn the eyes of the elbows forward, straighten out the arms as much as you can. If this is painful, you can, you can walk your knees forward towards your hands so you can bring your shoulders over your wrists a bit. And here, I'm pressing my nail beds into the ground, okay? And with my arms straight, I'm going to rock back and find my own range. This is my range here. Maybe yours is back here, or maybe it's here. You don't wanna go to the place where you feel a sharp pain. You wanna feel a slight stretch, okay? So here, just rocking about 10 times. This is gonna help you open your wrist up for deeper extension if you have trouble getting your wrist to a 90 degree angle like this, okay? So do this about 10 times. Okay, and I think that's about 10 for me. Okay, next up, we're gonna turn this into an active stretch. And what that is, is you're gonna go into your passive range like we did before. So here's my passive range. And then I'm gonna try my best to lift up my hands off the ground, including the knuckles. Right? So here, my knuckles aren't lifting off the ground, that's totally okay. Keep this lift, keep this engagement in the flexors as you rock your shoulders over your wrists, and then you're gonna rock on back until the back. you feel the back of your hands down onto the ground, and you're going to release. Okay, we're only gonna do that five times. So try your best from here to lift, and then rock forward, rock back, and release. That's two, lift, rock forward, rock back, and release. That's three, lift, rock forward, 
rock back, release, one more. Forward, back, and release. And that's really good because it helps you build up that continual engagement in your flexors to offset this extension, pressure of the ground into your hand like this, okay? Now, grab a towel. Once you have your towel, place it on the floor. And from here, you're gonna place the heel of your palm down onto the wood. Grab onto the towel with your fingertips and you're gonna keep the heel of the palm down as you curl your fingers in and pull the towel in. And this is a great exercise for building a little bit more manual dexterity and a little bit more grippiness, especially if you're working on inversions. That's gonna be really helpful for digging your fingertips into the ground so that you don't topple over, all right? So do this one like five, 10 times, okay? If you don't like the sensation of having the towel on the floor, you could always do this like so, grabbing onto the towel and just curling your fingers in. And I like to do this, not with my hands straight, but in this position, especially because yoga is mostly what I do. And again, yoga is mostly in this position. Um, I, find this, I find this really helpful to bring a little bit more into this flexion. And look, it doesn't matter if uh, you, you pull up the whole towel. Here I'm kind of rotating the towel. It's just the action that matters the most, right? So if you imagine that this was a ball, I'm kind of like spinning the ball. And you'll feel a burn, all right? Whenever you feel the burn, see if you can do one more rotation or one more towel pull. And that's how you're gonna build a little bit more evenness in your wrists and get rid of that wrist pain. Okay, last two exercises. You're gonna grab one end of the towel like so. And here, the rest of the towel is coming out of my thumb end, okay? I'm gonna flip my palm up. And then here, I'm gonna grab the opposite end with my other arm. I'm gonna bend my elbow and wedge it against my rib cage. If this is a little bit tough, you can always grab a block and place it right on the inside of your elbow. And then from here, I'm going to slowly apply resistance on both ends, but I'm gonna let this hand win a little bit. So here, I'm adding a little bit of resistance. And I'm just working on this rotation, this medial rotation, okay? So pulling, and you can control this. You can apply a little bit more tension or a little less, depending on how your wrists feel today, okay? So I would say do this about 10, 15 times, but again, it really depends on how much tension that you're applying. Okay, next exercise, we're gonna take this tail end and place it over on the pinky side. And we're pretty much gonna do the same thing. So here, instead of palm up, I'm gonna go palm down, okay? So palm down, flip it, <laughs> flip it over, grab the towel, notice that the towel's over my knuckles, and same thing, I'm wedging my elbow to my side body, and then from here, I'm going to pull, into this external rotation. And this is gonna be good if you have pain on one side of the wrist versus the other. This is gonna help you build a little bit more balance in that wrist. And hopefully, hopefully, if this is the case, you're feeling pain on one side of the wrist over the other, there may be some adjustments that you need to do in your yoga practice, all right? So I hope these help. Let me know in the comments if you tried it, if they actually helped. I truly, truly would love to know if they actually helped out your practice. Don't forget, I have a newsletter and in the newsletter, it's sort of like this, but I dive into a lot more detail. So especially if you're interested in nerding out over the practice, that's gonna be a great resource that's free and exclusive uh, for you to sign up. And there's a link below that I'm gonna place there for that. Please hit the subscribe button or the like button it helps way more than you know, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.